That don't even make any sense, Jen. Well, why don't they, Brad? How are you, what you're saying making any logical sense whatsoever? How? What, that kangaroos are in Australia, but we don't get them here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so well, what, what point are you trying to make? Well, why are they over there and not over here? What do you mean? Well, do you see any kangaroos fucking running around at the gardens? No. Do you see them running around fucking Australia? Yes. Yeah? Well, but what's the point? There's then so My that... point is, yeah, we have dogs over here. Australia have dogs. So if they've got dogs and we've got dogs, why have we not got kangaroos and they have? <laughs> So how, if yeah, we, but certain animals are native to certain countries, Jen. I don't understand that. If we have kangaroos, if we have dogs, yeah? Yeah. How did the dogs go over to Australia? What do you mean? Well, There's dogs all over the world. Right, yeah, but I'm using that as a... as like a... like a show. So if... if we got dogs here, yeah, how did our dogs get there? What do you mean? Well, how do humans get around everywhere, Jen? Well... Well, how do humans evolve? How have they got from place to place? Well, we use planes and we use buses, but you don't see no boarding pass fucking suitcase of a German Shepherd, do you? <laughs> do you? No, you don't. What? You don't see you a don't German s- Shepherd with a suitcase and a boarding pass? Don't see no staff of a bus pass either, so... <laughs> what are you trying to say? Yeah, but what are you... Shit. Yeah, but you're not actually making any sense, though. But I am, though. If you're saying that we use... Planes and we use buses. I ain't never seen this stuff get over with a bus pass, have you? No, it's stupid. <laughs> so, how would they yeah, get but it's over not, there? You're not getting it. There's certain animals, yeah, that are native to certain countries. That's I the don't po- care. And certain continents. Like, you don't see. Yeah. Yeah. So, Africa have got giraffes. Why can't we have giraffes? We have got giraffes and zoos. You're not understanding me, are you, though? What's to understand? Giraffes in Africa. Walk along the roads and shit like that. Yeah. Our giraffes are in zoos. Yeah. Where's the fun in that? What are you going on about? I don't get what your point you're trying to make. That other countries have a certain animals and we don't. Why are we getting stuck with fucking shitty foxes? <laughs> they come in and open up your fucking garbage bins. Why can't we have a kangaroo up in around in the garden instead? What are you going on about? No. I don't get your point. I'm just tra- saying it's unfair that other countries have got certain animals and we don't. What, so you were saying an animal... Well, don't you, so, what, okay, don't, okay. well, don't you understand about that? Okay, so you were saying, yeah, if, say you've got, like, Russia, yeah, and that's connected to, like, Mongolia and that, yeah? <coughs> yeah? Right, right. So if you had bears in Mongolia, yeah, are you saying that a bear will get to, like, Russia border and be like, no, I ain't going there? Well, I don't know, do I? I'm not a bear, I couldn't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but what? That's the point you're trying to come across as. But there's a reason why they don't go there. They don't just get to the borders and go. Nah, that don't look too good over there, mate. I'm going to stay here. It don't work like that. There's certain things that are native, Jen. You wouldn't want bears running around, would you? Well, not bears, no. But I do want to look out and see a kangaroo in my garden. <laughs> but no, instead I get a fox fucking eating rubbish. <laughs> yeah, cheers then, England. Yeah. Parts of you out there. There, I ain't Yes, you buy this, because it might help me sleep. I ain't bought nothing. You fucking must have done, you have to buy me something. I thought you ordered it. It's got your name on it, isn't it? I buy myself, dummy. Well, why would I buy it? What money have I had? What's this for? I ain't got a clue. Leg weights? I didn't fucking order it. What is it? Oh, I think it's for leg you trying to say I need to lose weight? <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, I never said a word. No, I can say it to her, you bloody say. Mm. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, is that? I ain't got a clue, but you ordered it. I've got a rough it. idea what you do with it, but eh? Yeah, well, I don't. <laughs> I'll think of it. Uh, 
It is fucking exercise because you want me to lose weight. Mm. I'll, I'll kill you. I, I ha I... What the fucking hell is that? <laughs> what is oh, that? God. You fucking bird. <laughs> I haven't bought it. Christopher, you know I don't like trying to get stuff like this. <laughs> Who's it? Fucking Jig! Who's name is on there? You can't hear my name! No, you bloody Jig! Who is it? It's <laughs> so weird. You want a beating, I'll give you a fucking beating, alright? <laughs> that is fucking disgusting. Oh, I'm, I am. What else you got in there, eh? <laughs> I thought you bought. You bought that retreat for me, innit? Eh? Eh? What's that for? Uh, I'll drag the thing. <laughs> I think you put it in your mouth. <laughs> what? It's a ball gag. It's a ball gag. I'm gonna fuck him, mate. Try it up, try it. It's a ball gag. It's bondage. Oh my god. It's bondage gear, Alison. That is sick. That is fucking sick. <laughs> I bought you that as a present. It's bondage gear. You fucking stuffed that at your ass, mate. I do not want nothing to do with that. Oh, crap, crap. I ain't touched it. That you was bloody bastard, Dan. That was outside your door. <laughs> yeah, you fucking oh. put it there. Oh. Why would I oh, bought it, it's bonded scare. <laughs> <laughs> it was him. The bastard. You're fucking worse, isn't it? <laughs> You're fucking sick, Granny. Bloody bondage scare. <laughs> that is so sick. I nearly got a bloody hiding of your name. You will get fucking hiding. <laughs> I, thought, that, I thought she no, bought it for a done. treat. <laughs> <laughs> If you want it and use it, you fucking get some other woman. You won't be coming to me, Different sunglasses, isn't it? Yeah, you fuck off. Hi everyone. So a few days ago, Brad decided to cut my hair. So I'm going to get Brad back by bringing his brother Lawrence. Say hi, Lol. Hello. Get him back by thinking that we've slept together whilst he's at work. Enjoy. What the fucking hell is this? What? 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 Are you a pair of fucking cunts? What the fuck are you doing in my bed? What's your Do I look like a fucking idiot? What are you doing in my bed? What's the problem, Brad? What do you mean what the fucking problem is? My missus and my brother in the fucking bed. What do you mean what the problem is? I've been at fucking work, come back and you're in my fucking bed. Nothing on. Are you too fucking stupid or something? I don't see what the problem is. Do I look like a fucking mug, Jen, you stupid bitch? What the fuck are you doing in here? Who are you here? talking to like that? Talking to you? You're in bed with my brother, you fucking stupid cunt. What the fuck? Are you stupid? Don't sit there and look at me, though. What the fuck are you doing? What? Get out of my bed. Right. I'll give you two seconds to get out of my bed or I'm going to drill your fucking head in. Don't take out on him, bro. You ain't going to take out on him. Two seconds. Don't start on him, then. Two seconds. Well, don't One, start two, on him right, there. fuck it. It's a prank! Oh, it's a prank! What do you mean it's a Stop. prank? You're sick, It's right? a prank! It's a prank! Seriously, there's a camera behind you. Well, you are a weird power cups. <laughs> no, what? Yes! Fuck yes! Five five blow! Have that, Brad! Next time, don't cut my fucking hair! Fuck I bought one of these today. Um, anyone with any common sense knows what that is. It's obviously a punch bag. I'm going to tell Jen as a garden scarecrow and let's see what she fucking does. Right? Huh? Mate, I'm going to get these shoes off. My feet are fucking killing me. I just think of them. Right, look at my top pair. I've ruined it already. I've got chocolate. You want fucking chocolate down your feet? You need a bib. <laughs> Bro, I went to put the strawberry in my mouth and it just dropped down the top. How did it go? Is it alright? Yeah, not bad. Mate, my feet are killing me. Before you take shoes off, I've got a present for you. What? Well, that's not a present for you, it's a present for the garden. I've got a scarecrow. Where? In the garden. Put it up. What, in the garden? No, in the fucking living room. In the garden, it's a garden scarecrow. No, I'm gonna... I thought it was something for you to look at when I'm not here. What? What? Open up and no, it just sits there.
It just keeps the birds away, Jen. Get a picture. Do you want a picture of it? Huh? Come on then. Pose then. Hold on. No, proper pose, Jen. I am. I'm smiling. No, pose. That's it. Yeah, I've done it. Do you want to have a look at it? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Jen. What? <laughs> you do realise that on a scarecrow, don't you? <laughs> what, when the scarecrow? That out there? <laughs> What was it then? It's a punch bag. We're going to match the punch bag, so I've just dressed up a punch bag. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me this, that was a scarecrow bag. <laughs> the world not even a scarecrow. To scare off the birds when you see them. birds are around here, the only birds around here are the single mums. <laughs> you're not even funny, you're just a fucking idiot. Actually <laughs> dressed up a punch bag. <laughs> I don't find that funny. So stop laughing. <laughs> I've got a question for you. Okay. So what you wanting then? Right. Die. Well, the question is, you're stood on top of a building, yeah? And you're overlooking like all the streets and that's it. Imagine you're like in New York, top of a building, high building. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? And to your right, you have a ton of feathers, yeah? Okay. To your left, you have a ton of bricks. They both get pushed off the building at exactly the same time, down to the millisecond. So exactly the same time, yeah? Okay. Which one will hit the ground first? The ton of bricks. You say that like you're confident. Well, obviously I'm confident. Bricks are heavier than feathers. Right, let me say it again, yeah? You're stood at the top of a building. Yes. Looking out, yeah? Your right's a ton of feathers, your left's a ton of bricks. They both get pushed off at the same time. And you reckon what falls off first? The bricks, Brad. Why are the bricks? Because they're heavier. <laughs> Bricks are obviously going to hit the ground faster, aren't they? Come on. Why? Huh? Why? Because they're heavier. What do you why, mean? Why are you being stupid? <laughs> why are being stupid? Listen to what I'm saying. You all stood at the top of a building. Yeah, and there's some ton of bricks and some ton of feathers, and they both get pushed off at the same time. Which one's going to land faster? The bricks, obviously. <laughs> why? What? You really annoy me, do you know that? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Listen again. You're at the top of a building. Yeah? Yes, bad. And you're about to push off a ton of bricks and a ton of feathers, yeah? Boom. You push them off at the same time. What hits the ground first? The ton of bricks, Brad. <laughs> because they're heavier. So they're going to get faster, aren't they? If you, right, you have a feather here yeah, and you have a brick here. If you chuck them off at the same time, yeah. that brick is going to land faster. Why, though? Because it's heavier than the feather. What, so ton of bricks, ton of feathers, the bricks are heavier than the feathers? Yes, have you ever picked up a feather before? Do you know how weak <laughs> that is compared to a brick? Or not? Yes or no? Yeah. Well, then you'd know then, wouldn't you? Not right. what I'm saying is So right. if I said you've got a ton of bricks, yeah? Yeah. And, and a, a ton, ton of metal. Of feathers. No, a ton of metal. Yeah. And you push them both off, what's hitting the ground first? Well, I don't know how heavy metal is, so I'm still going to say brick. <laughs> You annoy me now, Brad, with this. Why? So, what? if you've got a ton of bricks and a ton of feathers, you're pushing the bricks off and the feathers at the same time, you reckon the bricks are hitting the ground first. Yeah? Well, obviously, because they're right. heavier. Ton of bricks, ton of metal, what's hitting the ground first? I don't know how heavy metal is, so I'm going to go bricks. Right. Ton of cars, ton of bricks, what's hitting the ground first? Cars, obviously, because they're heavier. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you annoy me now. Jen. Ton of bricks, ton of feathers. How much does the feathers weigh? Ton. How much does the bricks weigh? Ton. So what's your answer? Bricks. Oh my it's God. bricks, Brad, because it's heavier than a feather, isn't it? Oh my God. Come they on. both weigh the same if they both weigh a ton, don't they? But bricks are heavier still, so they're still going to hit the crown quicker. Oh so who just said again? What? Right. So you come home from work, yeah? Walk in, 
and you turn the light on, yeah? Yeah. You go into the kitchen, you put the kettle on, and you make yourself a cup of tea, yeah? Yeah. You then sit on the sofa, turn the TV on, yeah? And a bird on the channel on the news said there's a power cut at every single house in your street. Yeah. What would you do? Go and get my candles out. <laughs> what would you get a candle? To stop me from sitting in the dark. <laughs> what? What do you do when you have a power cut? Well, I'll put some candles on. Exactly. Well, I'm not going to sit in the dark like a dickhead. Well, like like, let let, let me box. get this again. So you come in home from work, yeah? Yes, and, I've come home from work. And what have you done? Put the kettle on. And then what else you done? Put my lights on. And then what you done? Sat down. And we done what? Put the TV on. And then what? And the lady says there's a power cut. And then you light some candles. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to sit in the dark, am I? Right. You're me now. Right, right, so you come home from work and you turn the light on. Yeah? Yes. Fine. You put the kettle on, make a cup of tea, you sit down, you put the TV on, and the bird on the news says there's a power cut in every single house. In my street. Yeah, and you will put some candles out on. Because I'm not going to sit in the dark <laughs> like a absolute twat. Why would you do that? Why would I not sit, why would I sit in the dark when I've got candles I put out? <laughs> But if there's a power cut, yeah, how's yeah. the light on? Well, it must have gone off. That's how... why I'm getting my candles out. All right. How was there? How did you make a cup of tea? Uh, because the kettle was working. Yeah. So how did you watch TV then? If there's a power cut. So how did you see the bird of news tell you there's a power cut if you're watching the TV? Well, I must have been affected by it that then, then, Brad. What? Are you doing me in now because you've confused me and I don't understand what's going on? If you have a power cut, is there electricity? No. So how have you got the light on, the kettle on, and then what's the burning TV tell you there's a power cut? Because then I had the power cut. What, after she's told you? Yeah. But she's just told you every house in the street's got a power cut. So how are you watching her on TV? I don't know. How am I watching her? But would you still have candles or not at this point? I don't get it. How am I actually watching her? <laughs> I don't understand, Brad. Would you still have candles or not? Back in my brain. Would you have candles or not? Yeah, because I wouldn't be sat in the dark. But I don't understand. <laughs> oh what God, man! Because she's a power cut, is there? I don't get it. <laughs> What's she not to get? I'm like, how have I watched her on TV then? <laughs> oh my god. I'm confused, man. How oh have I answered the question? How have I done that? Fuck it out. So what you just said again? What? What you just said? What, I'm trying to eat my pot noodle. <laughs> just what you said again. What about England? Yeah. What when I what I said how they're gonna get back in? Yeah. 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 How are they going to get back into England? What do you mean? Well, when they left to go and play football, we were in the EU. Yeah. And the borders were open. And now we're out the EU. How, yeah. How are they going to get back in? What do you mean? What do you mean? The borders gonna... are going to be shut. What do you mean? Well, they went out, went out there when we were in. And now we're out. How are they going to come back in? What? <laughs> You're not making any sense. I am making sense, dickhead. What? What? Well, if we were in the EU when they left, yeah, the borders wide open, they can fly over, cool. But now that we're out the EU, does that mean they're stuck in France now? <laughs> what? What? Because our borders are now shut, so how are they going to get back in? Who? They're going to have to go and play for a French football team, aren't they? What, so you just think they're going to be locked out of their house? Well, yeah, because we're out the EU now, the borders are shut. No, you're not really getting this, are you? <laughs> well, I don't think you're getting what I'm saying. What are you saying? Well, how are England, football team, going to get back into the UK? What well, was hard to understand about that, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, how are they going to get back in? I don't... Oh... You actually hurt my head sometimes, you know that. <laughs> I have to hurt your head. Explain myself so many times to you, and you still don't understand. What? So me. you're saying 
because England were in the EU when England went to Europe to play the Euros. Yeah. Now that England, now that England's Britain's not in the EU, England football team can't get back in England. Yeah. <laughs> do you know how ridiculous you sound? Well, you tell me how they're gonna fucking get back in then, Brad. What do you mean? They could just walk back in. They just get on a flight and come back. But how? We're out of the EU and they're stuck in the EU. <laughs> Do you honestly think that? Well, that's why I asked you, yeah. Before you rudely interrupt my fucking pot noodle eating. <laughs> so, are you still going to answer me yet or no? Brad. What? Are you going to answer my question or not? I don't need to answer it. Why don't you? Because it's ridiculous. Why is it? How is that ridiculous? If the United Kingdom were in the EU when the footballers went over to the EU... And now we're out of the EU, which means our borders are now shut. How are they going to get back into their country? Regardless whether this is where they're born, how are they going to get back in if the borders are shut? Stupid. <laughs> you are ridiculous. No, you are. You can't answer my question. You interrupt me when I'm trying to eat. You should try. <laughs> yep, been then. Bad shut your mouth now. You're not keeping any more, Jen. I am. You're not. I am. You ain't telling me what shoes I can get rid of, Brad. Simple as that. Now fuck off out of my face. <laughs> You're not keeping them. Shut your mouth. I'll keep what I want. Look how many you binned. Look. You got yeah, fucking... exactly. I've binned about 40 pairs of shoes. Yeah. You're keeping all them and binning all them. You don't need this many shoes. You've only got two pair of feet. No, shut up, Brad. No. I will wear what I want. They're going in the bin. Just because I've got fucking two pairs of feet doesn't mean yeah, that I'm not going to... You've got one stop. pair of feet on me. Doesn't mean I've got be fucking restricted to one pair of shoes. No. You've got about ten pairs in there. Yeah. So I can have twenty. I ain't got ten pairs. Put them in the bin. You don't need all this shit. Don't look how far back there in the wardrobe. It's further than fucking Narnia back there and you're fucking keeping them. You don't wear them clearly because they're fucking all the way with a fucking horse and the wearing line and that. Just leave me. You don't home. need them, Jen. Don't talk to me. No, you don't need them. I don't care, don't talk to me. Bin them all. Every yeah. single last fucking pair. Bin them all. No, I ain't binning all of them. Yeah, see? Stupid. And all. And all. That's it. Look. All of them in a bin. Well done. No, because I'm keeping some of them in. No, you're not. Yep. No, you're not, Jen. You don't fucking need them. I do need them. <laughs> you don't. Every woman needs shoes, Brad. Yeah, I'm not saying that. But you got more well, you fucking slippers. You've got more slippers than Cinderella. You don't fucking need them all, Jen. Slippers. You're not keeping them. These are yours anyway. You're not having these. These are going in the bin. What? These. You're not chucking my eggs away, Brad. You don't need them. When's the last time you wore them? Uh, obviously in winter, dickhead. We've just had a winter, Jen. I've been with you for fucking eight months. I've never seen you put them on once. Uh, yeah, you did. Fucking hell. You're keeping them or not? No, I'm not keeping them. See, I'm, I'll, I'll does it properly. I'll buy a new trainer. Look! Fucking... Look how many shoes I've got rid of, Brad! Exactly, and look how many you're keeping. And when the fuck have you ever seen you wear any of them? Look at the state of them, Mush. You can't wear them. Look at that! Get in there. In the bin. Oh. You're not keeping them, Jen. You ain't telling me what I can and can't give them anymore, Brad. You're not Give having them. That. Simple as that. That's going in there. Good boy. You don't need them either. Oh, oh this is a fucking stress. Pair of Chelsea boots. Simple as that. When's the last time you wore these? A couple of weeks ago. No, you didn't. In the bin. Ta ta. <laughs> well, where did you just put that? You don't need it. Well, I am having that. Where is that? <laughs>